Hello traders, welcome to Invest2.com's Fibonacci series. In this lesson, we are going to uh, define and we are going to learn what Fibonacci extension levels are. Now, Fibonacci extension levels are used to forecast areas of support or resistance, such as Fibonacci retracement levels. The main difference is that uh, with extensions, we are going to forecast possible areas of support or possible areas or resistance beyond the 100% retracement. Now, this means that, for example, if we are looking at uh, the past Fibonacci retracement level, this would mean that we are with the, the extensions are going to be looking at above the 100. All right. Now, to draw a Fibonacci extension level. What you need to do is go to the Fibonacci extension button right here and uh, pick if you are in a down move, of course, and you are looking for possible areas of support, you are going to pick the high, go to the, uh, the bottom and then again to the high. All right. This is this is going to draw the Fibonacci extension level. And the Fibonacci extension levels that we use are the 161.8, the 227.2, the 261.8, and the 423.6. All right. Now, this is what a Fibonacci extension looks. The 161.8% extension of this leg. All right. So, Fibonacci extensions are possible areas of support or resistance where price might uh, bounce off. Again, because uh, some traders think that uh, Fibonacci levels are self-fulfilled prophecies, they are going to blindly trade them. But that's not how we do things here at Investu.com. What we're going to do with Fibonacci extension levels is look for possible areas in confluence with market structure. For example, right here, we have a heavy area of support, okay? And uh, we might have confluence with the 161.8. Now, if we look at the long side of things, how to draw Fibonacci extension levels to the long side? Well, that's easy. You are going to um, pick the low of the move, go to the high of the move, and then go back to the low of the move. And as you can see, price perfectly hit the 227.2 Fibonacci extension level before it starts to churn. And if we look for market structure uh, that is in um, confluence with these Fibonacci expansion levels or extension levels, then you can see that we have them here. Now, some traders are going to use these Fibonacci extension levels for mean reversions or to trade mean reversals in the market. Some others are going to use them as targets. But in this lesson, we are just showing you what Fibonacci extension levels are. If you go through with these flash course, you are going to learn how to use Fibonacci levels for reversions, how to use Fibonacci extensions for targets, and uh, how to use Fibonacci ex uh, retracement levels in confluence with uh, Fibonacci extension levels to trade.